All right, guys, so, all right, so right now we're putting in our, an intake in my boys. Um, is it G35 or G37? This nigga took out the emblem. I think it's a G37. Yeah, it's a G37. And it's nice. It has a drop and everything. Black, black, black roof. So right now we're actually just gonna replace these two intakes with aftermarket. I don't know if he got the fall in thing. He's about to bring him down right now. We're gonna check it out. By the way, I have a haircut. So, we're gonna change. We're gonna rev it right now, show you guys how it sounds like this, and then how it sounds when we put an intake on it. So, I'm actually gonna turn it on. Turn it on and rub it. Sounds pretty good. Now we're gonna take off the clamps, disconnect it, connect the new ones. Yo, the filters must be dirty in this car if he, have, if he hasn't changed them yet. Check it out. Yeah, they're, they're alright. Yo, these are the sucky ass filter, yo. Yeah, we're gonna we uh, if we he needs to have the one that has the, the map sensor in it. All right, so yeah, we're gonna we're actually gonna disconnect everything and show you guys. So these are actually bolts. bolts. Okay, this is yours. Oh, right, let's see. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, the intakes. Let's see them. Let's see them. Here, okay. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's see the tube now. Uh, you, you got the hose. You got the. These are the pipes that go pretty much like this. Then the intake. He has all the pipes, all the seals, and everything. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually pretty guys in time lapse me taking apart this engine bay and like... Oh, look at this light, I never even noticed them like that. But yeah guys, I'm putting in time lapse now. New parts, old parts. Like you can, you can tell the difference. No, I sent one video for for YouTube, man. In takes. All right, so the heat shield needs to, this one lines up, but there's no no cover that goes here. This line up here and the hole right here. Gonna do the same thing in this one. Just gotta make sure that the lines line up with this one. That one doesn't have a hole here, so it doesn't reach us, so I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to. Then, um, follow the steps to make sure that you screw this in, so it's nice and tight. Uh, these little things that go right underneath there. My guess is that this is what goes like somewhere and like holds it and holds, holds it in place. Yeah, like right here, stuff like that. So yeah, these are necessary. So make sure you guys have these if you don't want your intake going everywhere. Okay. So the, yeah. So these 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 are like these pretty much. Yeah. All right. So we got we got. One intake done. I know where he yeah. put it on. Okay. And now we're gonna do this one. You got it? Alright, so we pretty much installed everything. 
put the file, we put this in here. We put this first, I don't know if you're supposed to, but we did it. Put the clamps, we put the little tubes. Now, when you have this thing, this type of card, you, you have this. So this is supposed to be going right here, like a 90. So you're gonna get one of these little ones. It comes with the kit if you buy this exact kit. Um, you put them in and then you put this side in here and then that makes it into a 90. That way you can connect it to this holes right here with the rest of the, with the rest of the, this thing. It should be somewhere, which is over there. And that's how you can, and that's only for this side. So there's only one 90 degree, which is this one. The other one over there has, it's like right there so you can connect it easily. So you don't need a 90 degrees. All right, so now that we have everything all set, everything has the holes, everything has the So what you guys need to do is you guys need to take out like this from that side, this little tube. You guys need to take out the tube that goes in here. That's a whole big thing and just put a small one that will reach in here. Um, clamp it obviously and you should be fine. But just, just remember, take this off. And take this off. You can use the clamps on this one. They're still good. For the one that went in here, obviously. Yeah. The one in there. So we need to take this off because if you leave this on and you try to do it, it's going to be impossible. The tube zone band and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah. So intakes are in. So when you guys are doing this, make sure that the this you take it off from the stock one. And actually put it in first before um before putting this whole thing on because if you try to do it the whole sensor it's just gonna be hard and impossible tighten these the door on the bottom with the 90 degrees and take it secure this is secure secure connect it to the bottom secure foiled and everything now we're gonna give it the first the first startup. Nigga, they have something to say. That's it, Tom. Isn't that? That must have been a hook up. Really, that you can pop it. Two. Oh, okay. Hit it. Sounds so much different. Oh. Sounds pretty good. Shit. Woo! That You, you hear it in the back, too. Hello, <laughs> Yosa. You, you hear it wanting to pop. Yeah, it wants to rubble, so Yeah. Yeah, Rico, next thing we need to do is tune this shit. That's pretty much it, guys. So it's for a few little washes and stuff. Come over there. Oh. <laughs> this is the owner, guys. Subscribe, Hit him up. Subscribe. Hey. No check engine. Everything's good. This one in here, huh? There you guys go. Yeah, no, that one, that one broke. There you guys go. Yeah. There you guys, there you go, guys. There you go, guys. That's a G37 intake installation video. Um, what's this one's called? The E, oh, AF. So this one's called the AF Dynamic Air Intake. It's a pretty good intake too. I'm gonna run. Sounds smooth. I like it. <laughs>